Mighty Shea Gold Show. Mark it up for having a bit of fun. Triple M. 17 past that beautiful looking morning outside, especially here in uh, Clarendon Street, South Melbourne. Yeah. Sunny and a top of 25 today. Uh, we're taking the course 13353. What is the worst sporting loss you've experienced as a fan? That's what we're asking. India defeated Australia yesterday at the Gabba in a really wonderful day's cricket. I mean, if you could, I'm, I'm, I know we didn't win, but if you couldn't enjoy that day, fifth day of Test cricket, you don't enjoy Test cricket. Mm. It, was, it was just wonderful. I mean, we all would have preferred a different outcome. Yeah. Will and I were texting each other through the afternoon. Yeah, pretty you both loved it. Um, that was yesterday's uh, depressing um, sporting result. We've asked the question, what's the worst sporting loss you've experienced as a fan? Scott's on the line. Morning, Scott. Morning, guys. How you doing? Wonderful. What are you nominating? Uh, uh, 2001. Uh, still burns raw. Um, I grew up in Sydney, so footy to me is NRL. Yeah. Um, and I'm, a, I'm a Parramatta fan. So am I, Scott. Thing. Can you believe it? And I'm it, serious. It, we share the pain. I think you know where I'm coming from then. I do. Um, yeah, Parramatta... Try scoring record, point scoring record, most amount of points scored in a competition. Minor, two, minor premiership. Minor premiership. Dollar two, dollar three favourites mm. to win the grand final. Mm. And half time in the grand final, we were down 24 nil. We oh, no. Put on a, a Greg Norman esque choke. Oh, no, uh, so no. So we were there as a fam- we were there as a family. Oh. Went home early, and then just to put the boot in, yeah. um, going home on the train, some very ordinary type on the train. Mm. Probably had a thousand beers in them by then. Mm. Just turned to us, saw us in our power gear, and just went, Ah, oh, what's the matter, Parramatta? And just kept oh, going uh, all the way for about 20 you days. Don't, you don't need that. No. What's the matter, Parramatta? That's how I learned to spell Parramatta. Mrs. P, Mrs. A, Mrs. Double R, A, oh, Mrs. Was it? M, Mrs. A, Mrs. Double T, A. Oh, there you go. You know those ones? That there's yeah, a yeah, word for them when you sing word. a song to yeah. learn the word. Yeah, I've learned stuff like that before, too. Um, Tony's in Riddles Creek. Morning, Tony. Morning. How are you? Good, mate. What are you nominating as the worst sporting loss in your living memory? Uh, 95 World Cup, All Blacks versus South Africa. Uh, I was about 13 years old. Yeah. It was played in South Africa, so we were getting up in the middle of the night. It was the big Nelson uh, Mandela the World yeah. Cup final, wasn't it? Yes. Was it in Cape Town? Mm. Uh, I can't remember where the final yeah. was. I remember um, his shirt. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> we got poisoned. We got poisoned a few days before. Oh, that's right. Guys throwing that's, up on the field. That's and, right. And the oh. breakaway, the wonderful breakaway that played for years. What was his name? Uh, Lomu, John Lomu. No, the the breakaway, uh, the, uh, the the blonde haired Aryan looking gentleman. Uh, Jeff Wilson. No, uh, it'll come to me. <laughs> uh, Tony, it was yeah, terrible. That that was awful. For the I was set. crying on the couch yeah, as a kid. Never yeah. forget it. Um, yeah, the All Blacks just bloody do have a habit of choking, don't they? In the big ones, the All Blacks. Yeah, which Good is on lovely, you, Tony. lovely for us. We are rocking Melbourne here at Triple M. It's the Marty Shegold Show. It's uh, 8.24 and a sunny day today for Melbourne, top of 25. Yes. Um, we're talking about awful sporting losses after India. Yeah. Grabbed a series office yesterday at the Gabba. And hats off to the Indians. Yeah. God, they came out here and turned it on, didn't they? They did well. Because, you know, traditionally, sometimes in the past when the Indians have come out, you know, I mean, minus Tendulkar and Dravid and some of the greats. Hasn't worked out that well. No. Yeah. It was always, you know, you just notch it up on the calendar as a series win. And if they got a test off you, you were like, what? The Indians? No yeah. way. You're pulling me leg. <laughs> we're talking about the worst sporting losses you've experienced in your life. Yep. Will, yep. Instagram's gone bunter, apparently. Yeah, at Marty Sheargold Show, if you're interested. Oh, yeah. nice nice work, Will. <laughs> from here. Jump jump on. Um, so we put it on the story, and uh, Dottie suggested that the fourth test at the Gabba India Australia is probably, probably the worst he's seen. Yeah. So that's, that's the one we're talking that's about. That's the one we're talking about. You no really need to good, touch um, on that one again, mate. I just oh. did 14 minutes on it. <laughs> just, just giving a shout out to Dottie. Yeah, thanks, Dottie. Um, a couple of good, really good suggestions. Australia versus Iran at the MCG, November 1997. Yeah. The Socceroos, it was to make the World Cup. We're up 2 0. 97. And conceded two in the last 15 minutes. Yes, that's right. We I hadn't remember. made a World Cup since the 70s. Oh, it was awful. I remember yep. it. That was heartbreaking. A lot of AFL suggestions. Mm. Essendon's loss to Carlton in the 99 prelim. Oh, yeah. You probably remember. Uh, <laughs> Stay out of it, Barry. <laughs> Lauren. Fraser Brown's tackle on Dan Wallace. Fraser Brown. God. Um, Wexford losing to Tipperary in the All Ireland hurling semi final in 2019. Oh, is that a <laughs> fact? From Mick Kelly. <laughs> from Mick Kelly. Um, Did you ever stick your toe in a bath, Mick? <laughs> 
Uh, no, I don't know that one. Um, and a lot of suggestions for St Kilda. There's been about eight St Kilda fans that uh, it's yeah. just a plethora they can choose from. The draw, the draw, the, yeah. the draw yeah. and the year before, subsequent loss the year before. Back in 97 against Adelaide as well. Because uh, mm. Adelaide and North around that time were just superb. Yeah. Uh, go North. There you go. Keep your comments coming through. At Marty Sheargold Show. It is all set up there for you on Insta.